Oh, welcome. One and all to Hat Chat episode 103? That's right. Wow. With your hosts, yeah. Chris Trott. Ross Hornby. And Alex Smith, that's me. Welcome, everyone. I hope you're all very, very healthy and don't have any underlying conditions today. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I you could. We, we wish that all the time, by the way. That's not yeah. just today. Yeah. That's I hope that's an ongoing thing that so you just good, never good. have any underlying health conditions. Yeah. It's normally just to... you don't even mention it. No, it's just, no yeah, I don't. We don't wish worry about well it. upon you. And we also bless you today with our voices and with some stupid hypotheticals followed by some silly news, hopefully to break up your either your commute or your working day or, um, you know, I don't know what else you'd be doing. What genre would you say that finger was? Like a jazz kind of... Like game show disco, kind of disco, kind of disco, 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 disco yeah, as well. Yeah, there's a there jazz a disco. disco in there. Yeah, do, 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 do. that was Tom Roderick. Thank you for that. Thank you, good, Tom thanks. Roderick. I really enjoyed that one. That was good. That no was critique. A classic. No critique. Nice. That's, I don't think that's Nothing. bad. It's just, I guess it's just it's. I felt okay during that. It didn't make Liked me feel it. weird. It didn't make me feel yeah. that weird bottom feeling when you feel sensitive and sudden when you're in something harsh and. Like a, I don't know what you mean by that. Bo like nails on a chalk. Feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got that feet. Do you ever have that at the bottom of your spine? It's like a like if you see someone about to get hit by a car, and then they do get hit by a car. Oh, like you, you, you squeaky, squeaky. Or like you time. see like, or the drilling of a of a dentist drill. It it's just yeah, the squeaky. The wincing. Is that what, that, is that what everyone is referring it's to? It's sort of you drawing like your a, your asshole yeah. in, isn't it? Yeah. So you retracting your asshole. Like Puckering. <laughs> Like up in the in the back of your spine, and it. Goes you feel up that here. with certain fingers, what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> you to him. You made his butthole <laughs> move. Like we're just witnessing a car crash or a kid fall off a roller coaster, that kind of thing. You told me you just got erections from that stuff. Erections? Wow, it's mm -hmm. part and parcel. I think there's a biological effect from that zipping. Freeism. <laughs> Freeism. Oh. It's involuntary. It's involuntary. Ignore it. It's natural. <laughs> Relax. Maybe that's an underlying um, condition. Anyway. Yeah. How about we go straight on to some really well-crafted hypothetical questions? Yeah. Let's yeah, just yeah, dive yeah, straight in there. The architect, of course, are they unknown? They're, they're like Banksy. We won't know who made these. They amazing... like to remain anonymous this week. Good. Yeah. But uh, yeah. what we can say, however, is there was an audience vote as to which one was the best one that should be talked yeah. about first. Thanks to our patrons on patreon.com slash hatfilms. Thank you very much for being the foundation, the rebar that supports this entire structure of the Hat Chat podcast. Thanks for keeping us trying to inject yeah. democracy into our idiocy. Indeed. Which, and also, yeah. this, this thing would be in the bin without them. Let's be honest. Let's be it really totally honest would. for a second. They are funding so the Hat far Chat. In the bin. Um, we still record them, but we'd put them onto tape and then bin the tapes. We just yeah. listen to them ourselves and then realize no. that's shit. That's yeah, let's not, do let's not do it. Um, first Patreon hypothetical. Thank you for this. It's happened. You had a genuine close encounter with the third kind. It's absolutely <laughs> real, but no one else saw it. What would you do? I've got an answer for this immediately. Oh, okay. Obviously, I'd start a small YouTubing group <laughs> subtly, but over time, tell people about how aliens are actually quite probable. Yeah. And as more science comes out, strengthen your argument further until at a certain point you decide to reveal that you've actually had one of these encounters, but not yet. So you wouldn't go uh, okay. in with, believe me, because I've had an experience because it's easy for someone to dismiss no, I, I them, gaslight, right? I gaslight. I gaslight thousands of people. Too, oh, first of all, right. I'd I'd be doing that for years, like de like a decade at least at this point. Would you go full X Files with like your intro sequence and yeah. stuff like that? And no, 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 no. You, to, you, 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 you disguise it. You you build the channel based on maybe gaming. Oh, just um, solely something totally and, irrelevant. And, and and then eventually like you'd. Him, yeah. 
you would you would start bringing it up in conversation more and more. You'd watch more and more programs about right. it to corroborate what you experienced, what the people have experienced, and slowly build this trust. The you know, this guy is a trustable person. You know, is is an objective thinker. So if this guy suggests that aliens could be real, then maybe, and then and then, and then eventually, obviously, come out with uh, my big story, do TV, do a book. Is there anything you like to say? Too invested though as in like you've you've built yourself up to such a degree that the moment you announce the third encounter part it yeah. destroys and crumbles away everything you built up and then you're like ah but, but it really happened though so really what, what i'm saying is like as in i'm of telling course you it did no of course it should all match up right it should, i was probed a lot how do you convince someone i think is that the is that the underlying question here as well like is there, is there a good way to convince someone that you've experienced this firsthand? You didn't have camera footage, which seems to be always the case. Um, I think I you think, wouldn't necessarily you know always what? take your phone out. As insane as it is sake, to spend 10 years uh, building hat films so that Smith can reveal that he got anally probed by an alien, <laughs> uh, there is some credit to, you know... A lot. Commitment. Uh, a lot of probing. A lot of probing. Good. There's some credit to... I don't know what else they could have learned convincing people first that you're a genuine person like yeah, you're yeah. you are a credible person and then revealing yeah. by the bt dubs big old anal probing like 10 years ago um how did it happen buddy by how some aliens happen? what was the situation mate Make i was at honest. a bus stop i was 14 oh. years old it was one of those bus stops built into a wall you know like made of hamstone and stuff like the quite yeah. nice ones the yeah. ones that look kind of nice but equally you're like someone's definitely pissed and slept yeah. in that Quite a few times. Did it's it have any kind of signs well, of a I car imagine. crashing into it? Quite a few. Not at the time. No, yeah. that's why I was surprised when I saw a bright light come up, hover over me, and then the next thing mm. I knew, it there's probes in my butt. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all use... I remember. And then I woke up the next day, face down, <laughs> on the stone bench of the bus station. All right, it was a UFO. Must have been bright light. Then a lot okay. of anal probing. The only explanation I can come up with is a close oh. encounter. Maybe not the third kind, but a close encounter with maybe a local bum. I don't can, know. You think of, can you think of the bright how torch. this should be deconstructed you as can, yeah. a traumatic also, experience the... that's been repackaged <laughs> in Perhaps. a, in, on, a on unrelated encounter. note, on the walk home was the first time I saw the local garage was selling for a very good price, those million candle power torches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and there definitely was this drunk guy asleep behind the sign of the town as I walked out of its borders, you know. Yeah. And he looked happy. You've... He looked it's exhausted. The first time you... Yeah. <laughs> looked exhausted. <laughs> he must have got a pack of batteries with his light on the way back. Yeah. He's just... I just I'm had to buy use 18 this more AAs for, for 20 minutes of operation. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah, I mean... I remember the film um, encounter, close encounter of the third kind. Mm-hmm. Um, it's really realistic, um, especially <laughs> the end part. Yeah, um, where it whizzes, where it whizzes through the city, <laughs> or through the mountainscape. Yeah. that's really good. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I don't know how you would convince somebody else, but I think what I would do after that, immediately after that situation, I feel like, I think after doing all, all that we do like vlogging and stuff like that i feel like i would get my camera out my phone out and film myself just describing what happened and what how i feel then mm-hmm. I'd, I'd kind of do a little video diary for myself. in the moment in the moment just thinking okay look i don't know how to i'm not gonna write this down um i just you know I, I, i'm gonna say this and i don't know how i mean obviously there's no specifics to how this would have happened when I mean, wh- where do you imagine a close encounter of the third kind could happen? It could happen on your toilet. It could happen anywhere, right? You could yeah. be. You don't need to be outside in a in a wilderness where it's pitch black and you can see all the stars. That seems to be a, a common trope. Mm. Um, I think it can happen when you're, you know, in the garden and you touch a worm and suddenly, oh, that could <laughs> that could have been the alien. You touch a worm. I mean, that, that's a really good point. I mean, it, it it's it's really good point. Because yeah, like, could be I think also interdimensional. Interesting sorry, inter-dimensional, approach, aliens. <laughs> like, but I mean, like, yeah, but I mean, interdimensional. Like, why would you do all of the traditional, like, driving up to a place, getting out, hello, waving? If you're advanced enough to like 
go through space, like yeah. through the, the 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 distances of space required. You know, if you're if you have the luxury of just popping down the planets and being yeah. like, what are all these advanced monkeys doing? Um, you know, like you you would maybe have more advanced than, than w- what we're thinking of as an A to B form of transport. Like the whole like ultra terrestrial thing is really cool yeah. because it's like the idea that like something some some aliens or visitors or whatever the hell you want to call them basically things that aren't of earth extraterrestrials could be in fact coming from different realities dimensions Mm -hmm. things that are being explored in real science and you know like the could exist i mean obviously do you think for us to comprehend but they could be coming through a magical portal and expressing their connection with you ross through your contact with a worm you've just touched is what i'm saying it's not yeah, outside well, the realm do you think it's more or less likely that you would have come into contact with aliens while scuba diving um, i feel like well... it's more likely May, uh, let's say you're you know you've you're at, you're at the titanic level really deep i don't know if you yeah. can actually Jesus get that deep. Christ. yeah you can <laughs> you can <laughs> um but i think it's more likely you'll come across an extraterrestrial being in a in a kind of a alien space like that yep Yep. In in essence, the creatures at the bottom of the sea are as as alien as as they come, right? Yeah, we are aware. Yeah, I mean, well, not necessarily at the bottom of the sea. Not necessarily the dead bottom, but like deep, real down. Well, there. so that, so so the, the top sort of ten percent of the world's oceans have something like ninety percent of the ocean's life. Yeah. So this is something you got to remember. Like, it's a bit like the air. Like birds don't exist. At like sixty thousand, they don't live at sixty thousand feet up, right? Because the conditions are there's not enough to eat. It's Planes too cold. Planes keep sucking the fuckers up. Um, but no, it's the same with the ocean. Like you know, there is a huge dead zone in mm-hmm. the ocean. Um, so I mean, yeah, there are shit. There is shit bottom of the sea. Um, but y- you're right. I mean, ultimately, also there's there's the um what are they called the, the spirits of Lake Octopi Loch Ness. So the, the the really the really good one is that like octopus and cephalopods and a lot of the um you know those kind of creatures are as alien as they can get from us because they actually branched off on a different evolutionary tree very very early on. I've read somewhere that us and octopus have our closest shared relative is a seagrass. So it's so like a, a, a grass that grew in the sea millions of years. Yeah, ago. I was going to say something that about our... octopus and how like it. crazy different their their evolutionary chain is from most other life, I believe. Like they branched out very early on, and therefore their makeup is just so drastically different from anything else on Earth. Whereas we can be compared to a banana and most yeah. other things. Octopus, they've got like a shared brain across all their tentacles and shit like that. It's just their biological makeup is so weird and different. Mm. It's some argue that, you know. They were a different product of another asteroid hit in Earth. Uh, more different microorganisms yeah. um, setting off a totally well, different Well, they very well could be that kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's every chance that life on Earth could have started because of bacteria or something that came to us from other star systems. Absolutely. Creatures and arrival uh, and... tentacles. That's kind of like a tentacle yeah. stamp they do. That's... They're not I real, though. That's... Well, no, of course not real. <laughs> But like, you mean as in, you mean as in they, they thought the like they thought of like a kind yeah, of like yeah, that kind yeah. of creature? Yeah, it's, I it's, loads it's of the most sci-fi alien that we can think of. Right? That are also yeah, feasible. Yeah, exactly. yeah. it's like Would something you make that love we can. To an octopus? Oh. No, no. <laughs> it's the little no, beaks that puts me off. That's the only thing. <sighs> yeah. Just knowing that it's in there. I don't know how you. I don't know how you would. They've got those ear holes, but I don't think there's a. They're not for that. I like the idea of the no. suckers. I'm saying no. But, yeah. You like the ideas of the suckers? I guess so. I like the idea of them. Could touch all sensory parts of your body. Like a giant one. Like a big, like a big pucker. Yeah. There's huge ones they see at the bottom of like oil rigs. Yeah. yeah. Those are yeah, horrifying. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Imagine scuba diving and seeing that. I would just unplug it'd be everything. It would be intense, wouldn't it? It would be, be intense. It really would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I'm, not, I'm not dealing I... with this. Reality is too much for me. <laughs> Dump your weights, rock it to the surface. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I agree. It would be it would be pretty intense to see something that big, um, in in the sea when you feel like you're just hovering there in space. I think it'd be exciting. I think it'd be, yeah, like I yeah. Want to swim in dolphins. So saying that, so people, loads of people mm. said that's their dream. That's my nightmare still. 
big creatures <laughs> being in a body of water with a large creature that is that that's their realm no thank you mm-hmm. Trot, you swam dolphins how was it i didn't swim with dolphins <laughs> You touched the dolphin. I feel like in it? your mind you really built up a huge picture of me just I swimming around. I thought you swam with them once. With a whole school <laughs> of dolphins. There you get the water or some. They were just. I didn't get in the water with any. They were literally in like a big vat, oh. <laughs> essentially. Yeah. And they were all poking their heads out, and then we touched their tongues and fed them some fish. Oh, okay. So they, they basically have this little like meeting Touch area the where they can hand pop mouth. up from their big tank up into this little tank where the pedestrians are, yeah. and they're like, "Yeah, come come meet one," and uh, yeah, I did that. What do they feel like? Very harsh tongue. <laughs> that seems an odd question. It's very harsh like tongue. Oh, I guess gritty. more like a cat's tongue. Yeah, like I guess they tear cat's apart tongue. fish flesh with it or something. <laughs> yeah, probably. Scales, but it's, it's, um, it's like it's like. Well, sandpaper. the rest of them, I imagine they feel kind of like. Do you know like when a wet in, like, suit, kids like play rubber. parks where they have those kind of um, fiberglass slides, but like the outside is smooth. I imagine they feel a bit like that. Do they? Nope. No. Okay. <laughs> I, I mean, question. it's like you want squidgy. It. They're squidgy. They're not a hard <laughs> shell. Squidgy. Okay. So it's more like a big foamy structure. Like oh, how hard know. do you would you ha- do you think you would be strong enough to just crush? I got a skeleton to completion. No, like, I don't think yeah, so. Like, <laughs> like, could you crush? I guess curious. we could crush I'm a like... skull, a human skull, if we wanted to. With your hands? I don't, think, us, I don't know. Still alive? <laughs> <laughs> God, fuck you! <laughs> fuck you! God! <laughs> so yeah, I guess you could do that with a dolphin. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's good to know. I just want to know if I'm in the water, if I could overpower such a creature. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I know? mean, you, like, you could, but I think you feel bad reasonable? about it because they look quite cute. What if I thought it was attacking me? If I just saw its fin and started kicking out because it's like, whoa, a fin. I mean, shark. <laughs> you have to hit them. In the I mean, I, I've, I've been in that situation where, yeah, I was, I was surfing in Australia oh. and um, I had two big gray shapes go underneath me as I was on a wave. And I initially thought, oh, I'm going to die. Um, and uh, my mate was like, he just caught a wave in. And this is like these waves, they cut, you have to paddle a, a long way out. You're at least, you know, you're a good, good 50 to 100 meters off oh, the coat, off the, off the, the beach. Um, it's not very deep, I will say. It's only about eight feet deep at most. Um, so you can see this, sort of see the bottom of the, the, the sea floor um through the waves anyway he's just caught a wave all the way in so he's good you know he's barely in shouting distance to me so i'm like ah you know and i'm like stay in because i thought it was a shark or something right come underneath me um i mean the giveaway would have been how quickly both of them moved and i don't think sharks tend to hunt together i think they're fairly solitary so they wouldn't have gone they they were moving in tandem anyway yeah i was like squeaky bum it was intense because I was like, yeah. "Wow, there's really big shape just went straight underneath my board." That's there. terrifying. I, yeah, it was pretty oh, like, I wouldn't go "Oh shit!" Like I definitely saw something go underneath me. Then what was that? Yeah, and then you hoping um, for I like a mate, like, "Don't come out!" Like a cute free willy scenario where he kind of like, "I'll guide you back to shore," and then you're oh, you're surfing on me. the back of. I'm riding nah. it. <laughs> I mean, it's an animal. You know, it's it's an animal. It's like, an animal, it, a wild it, animal. Yeah, but you don't know for sure, though, right? We've had very few interactions with aquatic creatures. True, this could be. Well, I probably wouldn't. That probably wouldn't be. They could be waiting the for their I moment. Into. I, I would lean into natural order. There's a hairless monkey in in its domain. Like you are the thing that is. It wants to um, be the cool kid because yeah. it's in Australia and it's it's got to impress. All the yeah, locals around. Also, there was no, I'm there was like nobody else on this beach either. We were, we were in a place called right. Lancelin, which is right. northwest Australia, like, like Sheep's Wall, um, Lancelin, and it was like dead. There was no one around. Like we were about, you know, half an hour's drive from anyone, and so that kind of concerned me too. Oh, and then anyway, <laughs> anyway, a couple of I paddled for a bit, paddled a bit. I was trying to say to my mate like, "Don't come out, don't come out." And then I looked up to the left. And the wave there were two dolphins like up to my left there was another big wave forming and i looked up to the left and then there was two dolphins and i was like 
come out, come out, they're dolphins, come out. But like before I'd even like started paddling towards them, they'd already like disappeared up yeah. the beach. You know what I mean? They just, they're so quick. But yeah, no, it's not a nice feeling. It's not a no, nice feeling. And even, even though they were dolphins, I wasn't like, you know, yay. I kind of get what you mean, Ross, by like, it doesn't matter what creature. it is. It doesn't it's, matter. It's a large yeah. creature in the sea. If there's it's, enough um, dolphins as well, there's always that risk, you know, they're quite horny mm. fuckers. You could be in the middle of a gang. I'd like to try and do it in like six feet of surf yeah. that I was in because it'd, it'd be it'd be tough just to hold positions. You know? Yeah, because there was a f uh, it was on Reddit the other day of um, surfer who was in a competition in 2015 and a shark just approached him and started like knocking him and he punched it so it luckily went away and avoided him. But as the, the cameras were filming him, as they happened, they could see the fin come up around the wave. Yeah. <clears throat> then the wave came up and hit him, and they were like, "Oh God, is he is he all right?" Luckily, he punched it away, and it, um, and he and he kind of grazed him. Damn. But still, that, that like that the the sight of that mm. is just so horrifying. Again, because it's their that's their domain. They can just yeah, tug you it, under is, and it is. It is. It's, it's so rare. It's rare. You know, it's not common. Uh, yeah. Even in Australia, where the very are loads rare. of sharks, it's still quite rare. So it's Shark just the tanks thought. are just overblown. Like, yeah. Yeah, but thanks um, to Steven Spielberg. Yeah, Steve, definitely, but you know, horror films. You know, I can't have one of those weird marionette dolls because of horror films. Nor can I have whatever that. Would you have is though, from... without? <laughs> oh, man. Have... oh man, I love marionette oh, dolls. I can't have now. them. I'm worried they're going to come alive. My marionette collection. <laughs> it's going to turn oh, its I'm head at me. Come alive and their smiles are creepy. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. Smiling dead, like well, inanimate objects are creepy. They, they are. are. It's because it's lifeless. Clowns? Horrible. It's, it's like the, it's uncanny. the uncanny valley. Yeah. yeah. Where well, you know it's not alive, yeah. but it has yeah. it's, it's gained some sort of sentience. Um, I think that you didn't you know, answer the first question. Okay. I want to correct you as well. well the Sorry? alien one. Trot, Trot needs to answer the alien one, yeah. Okay. After you, you can finish what you were saying. I was just going to say that I think it's okay sometimes to just go, these things are fucking weird. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's like it's an expression of like this makes me uncomfortable, and sometimes I feel like you need to strive for a better explanation of yeah. why something's weird because otherwise it sounds a bit kind of posed-minded. But I'm I'm growing more, perhaps because I'm becoming more and more bigoted in my age. Um, that I'm I'm happy to say marionette dolls are pretty strange. Yeah, yeah. but like um, because of those films as well. Like, did you ever like did you ever go downstairs late at night when you were a kid, like to get a drink or something? And then all the lights uh, were off. Yes. And then when you went walked back to your your bedroom, mm -hmm. you kind of that there was a feeling that there's going to be something changed. So you walk a little bit faster than normal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You kind of just close the door. You don't Dark know. Dark is scary. Run up the stairs. Back, and you're like, isn't it? Ooh, that could have been. Just, you know, it was it. nothing. You're just like, ooh. I had plenty of nightmares that. as a kid of like being chased in my house when all the yeah. lights are off, and then you got to get to bed as fast as possible yeah. and put the duvet over before the thing gets yeah. you. Yeah. Were you ever worried about putting your legs over the edge? Um, I always no. forgot. And I no, I'm too small. But like, as in under the bed, the, the hands grip you and pull you under. That's always a classic trope, isn't it? In films oh, like that. Yeah. yeah, that's a new one. I, I uh, worried more about falling through the bottom <laughs> of my bed because it had um, slats that weren't quite wide enough for the right. bed. So if I, if, I, if I moved at all in the night, the top half of my bed would just bang and all six of the oh. slats would fall out and i would fall through the bottom <laughs> of my bed frame that oh, happened you worried about for years physical injury. Just <laughs> um genuine that, physical that was harm. more my work i wasn't worried about putting my legs over the side i was yeah. looking forward to it you know i was like yeah. geez i can get off this death trap in the morning <laughs> i can <laughs> distribute um, the weight a bit better and not fall through oh my god <laughs> considering how much of a fuss fussy guy i am these days about like what i sleep on and the quality of my sleep I put up with yeah, just an awful camping, sleeping arrangement. I know exactly, exactly. It's like <laughs> I love. I love all I'll be using that one as well. Uh, <laughs> this will be my floor, feet mattress. If I decide to get up, I, I want to be able to step onto a mattress. Um, <laughs> size, it's a king size duvet as well. It's lovely. Wrap I think we're outside still. <laughs> this, is the, <laughs> this is the man I've hired to build an actual roof over our heads. What's the other guy doing? Oh, he's making a pizza oven, actually. Oh, no. <laughs> cool. Outdoor living. <laughs> and they're the best. It's all cause and effect, isn't it? Because of your terrible yeah. night's sleep, you will never go back. <laughs> and you'll, you're you're overcompensating nowadays. Yeah. I will sleep like a princess. <laughs> well, do you think Every you, go, night. you go back to a single bed? 
Uh, probably. On my own. If a you, decent like... size single bed on my no, own. No, it's sure. a single bed. A regular single bed. I think I'd be all right. You could sleep in that. No, you, Do you I fit in like... it? It depends on the size of it. Well, I don't... I... It's going to be an average. I mean, if you don't fit in an average one, then no, you're going to be crumpled up. You have to sleep kind of fetal position to every time. Fetal position? Fetal, fetal. Yeah, the beetle position. <laughs> like a little beetle. Scarabs. <laughs> Burrow under the covers. With my arms and my legs curled in beneath myself. Yeah. <laughs> I sit with my back. I sleep with my back. Hunt. The, the, <laughs> the beetle position sucks. <laughs> Okay, right. Uh, second, we get the second hypothetical. I, I, I asked Trot what his. He didn't say what he would do if he met uh, an alien horse. Uh, bury what it. Would you do? Bury it. Yeah, what, no one's going to believe me. The scenario. Or you've okay. killed it. Oh, no one's right. going to believe me. I'd probably tell a few close people, and they'd be like, <laughs> and I'd be like, <laughs> like yeah, funny. Isn't it? Oh fuck! No one's oh, going to believe I me. Think that, oh, I don't <laughs> think that's true anymore. I think people desperately want to believe, and they'd be like. Are you are you serious? And no, like, he's got a good point there because like when you come out to the, these, these things, everyone starts thinking, "Oh, hang on, he's like, he's that guy." Yeah, is I don't want to be. No one takes those people who seriously when they come out and say, "Oh, I saw I'm this." Serious. When does that last happen? happen? He took me up to its ship. The light came down, and it's like, oh, "What? I don't believe." Last that. person to claim to have met a. It's UFO going to be happening in daily America. in America. In America, maybe. Yeah, but I do feel like there's there's a lot of issues in America that aren't being addressed. These people are just oh, yeah, so like UFO areas sightings. as well, <laughs> and some educational issues. There's some rural areas as well, like yeah, you know, these people are like, just like. Now I saw a flashing light and it, uh, it, it beamed down, and then I fell on my dip, uh, fell on my head, and then oh shit, I think it was an alien, and that's an easy answer for, for probably quite a traumatic, real like real situation. I, I looked at uh, yeah. I'm just reading about <laughs> the most recent UFO things. Yeah, I'm I'm in. Already out of the hole. So drop. since 1906, <laughs> right, until yeah. 2014, here is a map of reported UFO sightings. Oh, oh wow. Uh, so <laughs> okay. what we're yeah. looking at here is a world map with little glowing dots, yeah. and America's it's, lit up like a fucking Christmas tree. It's and so is the UK. Highly lit. It's, yeah. So is the UK. The eastern side is mostly covered as well. The Saying Western also, like, world yeah. is infatuated with UFOs, whereas the rest yeah. of the world... No to keep quiet. Yeah. <laughs> they no They've got an agreement mouths. with the aliens. <laughs> but yeah, I don't is, know where yeah, this, this comes from. Map, Esri, Jesus. again, like this could not be Who knows, that yeah. accurate. I don't know how they collated this information, but... Uh, it our infatuation with it being in like popular media and that sort of thing, and since 1906, there's been plenty of UFO crazes, yeah, and movies and things a, like that. Shooting star is a like witnessing a, a UFO. Essentially, you don't yeah. really, it's unidentified in your eyes. You've seen something whip past in the sky. That's quite a a magical moment as well. Um, if you're a with a loved one or just alone, masturbating in a field. Which was is that something that's unique. common? I don't know. Personally, I would never. Um, have, I would never. I've been, don't no. accuse me. No. I'm not no. accusing you. But like a shooting star is a pretty pretty cool thing to see. Also, yeah. when you can actually kind of spot those um, satellites going across as well, that's pretty cool. But like, it's easy to jump to. Yeah, I don't I think, know what that is. Therefore, it's alien. I loved it when um, there was some Elon Musk rocket stuff going off the. Um, SpaceX, they had like those kind of really amazing blue cloud um, effects from where the, their launch happened. And everyone in California was going nuts. Cause, oh my God, look at this thing. It's, it looked amazing because it happened. Yeah. It, it was happening visibly. It wasn't just like left so in the, the sky. Like, chemicals <laughs> that were being released were yeah, reacting and it with the. Yeah, fucking amazing. Like, that's how you, you would want your UFO experience to be if you want yeah. this one. And then and a big like, beam yeah, comes down. You can also prove it. And hits the White yeah. House. It hits the White House. Kaboom! Do you think that'd Whoa, be more that's so, that's so dramatic? Do you think there'd be more celebration nowadays than like, oh my god, that's awful? Nowadays, I think it'd be amazing that. Um, I mean, I, I think the intelligence of another species to know exactly where the political powers are in the world would be incredible. Like the likelihood of them literally just spurting this kind of laser beam down into the middle of the ocean somewhere is is probably more likely, right? As if, as in. The White House. <laughs> they fucking got the White House. <laughs> but it's a film. Okay, it's, it's for fun, you know. But like, um, yeah. 
It's more likely there's crazy no, shit. It, it must be the whales. Oceans, right? It must be the whales that run this planet. <laughs> Shoot the cetacean prime minister. Shoot those big fuckers. <laughs> Why wouldn't they go for the big fuckers? Uh, no, no, so they 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 do the aliens seem to have wiped out all intelligent life in the sea. Um, it's all, you know, they've been afraid of cod. Uh, like humanity right? in general shrugs yeah, and continues oil distribution. We've been doing the same <laughs> yeah. thing. The Japanese, the Japanese are like, love your work. <laughs> That's yeah, great. We start Thanks for speeding this whole thing up. They start, they're all floating to the surface. <laughs> wow, okay. Japan would like to know your location. Um, nah, but you know, uh, Christ. I mean, it, it would be nice to have something to. You uh, do you want to live through Just, a UFO? Oh, one hundred percent. Alien invasion, if you will. Not or, a fucking invasion. No. <laughs> invasion. It will be. Would no. you like to live through an intergalactic look, war? When, when no. You look at the map <laughs> of all the galaxies and how many there are, and how vast each galaxy is on their own. You mm -hmm. think they come just to ours? They are not coming here just for tea and fucking biscuits. They are coming here to invade and to fuck us up and to consume the planet and then fuck off. No, I don't think so. Uh, then why? It's tiny. The, the, also, yeah, if you can, eat, if you can traverse, if you can traverse, <laughs> Kaya, it is. if you can traverse interstellar space, you've probably come up with a solution for creating matter. So the idea that they'd need anything like resources, you know, any kind, and if a future society would have the physical need for things on our planet, I think it's highly unlikely. Exploration and and the pursuit of knowledge is is the only sort of. We'd be, I feel like we'd be a, a novelty super advanced race, isn't it? It's like, oh my god, it's like the remote, uh, untouched tribes of our world, yeah, exactly. Yeah, of like, okay, we've got to be careful how we make contact so that we don't, you know, completely mess up everything and treat them with a level of respect. You'd hope that, you know, the level of sentience above us and intelligence would treat us the same way. It's like, we've got to be careful, you know, what's They'll the be caretakers, what's the Star Trek yeah. rule. Where they like, we don't engage um, with it. Don't uh, first contact or like um, rules. Yeah, basically, if they, you don't uplift them, I think like you don't. Um, if uh, you've got to let a, a society develop at their own pace and not just yeah. go like, lol, here's replicators. So Solve if anything, it would be for things. A rebellious is bunch just that prime decide to. He's like giving a toddler director. like an iPod, an iPod, an iPhone. Give me a toddler so, iPhone yeah. straight away when they don't know how to use it or what it's worth. It's, so if you give it's a like civilized society a replicator. An alien comes yeah, to I mean, you, right? And then puts a device on you, yeah. on your brain, yeah. and suddenly yeah. you're able to see the fourth dimension and conceptualize wow. it. That's how big of a leap it would be. It'd be like going from 2D yeah. to 3D and then 3D to 4D. Jesus Christ, you can see all of time happening all at once yeah. as a big it. fucking worm. Oh my God. What, what if your you brain just to... exploded like moments after because you just aren't built for that? Like Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull. Mm. Yeah. yeah. The Crystal Skull, yeah. It's too much. What if? But like, what if <laughs> I die? Like, there's so, like, human beings are so insignificant. Like, you're, you're so insignificant as an individual. Like, you really are. And, like, you are eventually just going to. You exist for a blink of the eye of oh, the yeah, earth, of course, you know, yeah. as, as this collected atoms that make up I've your consciousness. Tons. Why wouldn't you want to die having your brain exploded by, you know, the universe's awesomeness? You know, like in terms yeah, of, you learning know, it aliens. all at once. Well, that's the thing, because like I, I guess way to go. Flash, <laughs> what if in that that flash felt like a million years in like to you? Yeah, but obviously exactly. in reality it was just a quick second because it was just like, well, we just gave them everything at once. Okay, it's like exactly. Having, having one day the knowledge will unlock. Yeah, one day knowledge will unlock, you know, the secrets to living forever. One day knowledge will unlock the secrets of like reality. The one day, you you know, forever, as long as we don't you'd... blow ourselves to pieces and become the stellar, you know, the uh, the human equivalent of a stellaris, like doomed civilization research opportunity. Yeah. You know, where like your scouts are flying through space and it's like, huh, look at these guys. They got to like seventy thousand years old as a civilization, and then they blew themselves to pieces. Sad. As long as we don't do that. Yeah. It's just. It's ridiculous, the frontiers. There is a problem with living forever, though, because you would essentially live through the destruction of the planet in itself. Yeah, but you, we sun. could find another one by that point. There's still, there's still or, a couple of billion years until our sun just, explodes. Yeah, or find a way on an to individual level, encapsulate you know? the sun. Oh, yeah. like On an individual level. You, you were like 
could live forever and you just live cursed through all this with shit. immortality like, i don't know how to do this stuff i've like, all these years i can i can learn i guess I'm just watching everyone but fail also, around me. <laughs> yeah but again all of with time all of these challenges yeah. will be surmounted ross and we'll be able to download information into your brain yeah. you won't even have to bother to learn it you'll just be able to access it yeah you know, all when they pull of the, you out of the permafrost mate you'll be like i was living through that like, what you i was know, awake. alive throughout this entire permafrost bit. <laughs> so, uh, how many how many years has it been what era yeah. i mean you see yeah. them pull out that mammoth, uh, that baby mammoth, in baby like, one, its entire yeah. entire form. Good lord, yeah, it's amazing. One, it's worrying that the permafrost is defrosting in such a way, but, uh, but also just the yeah, this thing is fully formed from like what? How many thousands of years? It looked Too like many. mummy in a barbecue bag. Is what it looked yeah, like. It, did, it looked yeah. like it had been crudely burnt over a, a wet forest fire. Yeah. Um, it, but I can't think of I was I wasn't impressed. That's all I'm saying. Others went, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Put it back in the past. <laughs> Put it back in the past. Oh, it's not as fresh as it should be. It's like, it's like finding it it taste like. It's like finding something in the freeze that you forgot was in the bottom. That like, oh, yeah. oh, oh, throw that out. Cool. Oh, this Gross. is too, too freezy. Slight curveball. This is this on... isn't a shop bought yeah. Yeah. A little curveball on the idea of like gaining all that knowledge. And being that would be a great way to have your head explode and die. What if, yeah, say that alien that came to you with that information is actually like a conspiracy theorist, and all of that is propaganda <sighs> bullshit? That <laughs> they're, they're trying well, you can't to sell it to anyone. Are you going to yeah. die? You I'm going to die. It's all made up. The thing is, the, world is flat. Hilarious. Yeah, you, you, yeah. The Who are they the, winning over? Is, the first contact we make with an alien of another species is like the full on like yeah. right prepper nut of that species. <laughs> of that species. Yeah. Left. But it's so advanced to you. us. It's yeah. like you're get your deity to us. I'm sure that's been done before in both book and film, but it sounds like a great premise for a book or film. Yeah. Is that like, you know, Earth is being helped by yeah. like this guy and they're like oh yeah yeah you don't want to do it like this and it's like essentially that this whole character is just this alien is just like a douchebag who's well, just, super advanced it's like a, any like. cult the guy yeah. at the top knows what's going on but he's just feeding lies to the followers below they but like this guy can actually have advanced technology but he tells people it's like something yeah. completely different i don't know man you don't want that yeah it's just no. a circumstance oh yeah yeah it, it can be used to make women live forever as well but we mainly use it on the men on my planet yeah. <laughs> you know, like, uh, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> He's oh. Interesting thought experiment there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, any funny news to round us off, Ross? Uh, yeah, this actually got sent in several times from people. Uh, some people saying it was Smith. Um, anyway, Fears Gimp Man has returned after latex pervert ambushes couple He's walking not back. Home. He's back. Um, He's yourself, back. Smith? What have you got to say, Smith? Look, I go all I'm story. saying is I'm not doing it cheap. It, I, had to, I had to get that made special. All of the Smithy's gimp suits are way too small for me. They rip. Um, Don't they? There's, there's terrible zipper quality. Um, that's a proper gimp suit. Look at that. It is. That's it's also got like that's not terrifying, kind of isn't it? With the, eyes and mouth. Which are the those, crossed is out eyes is scary. Ball? That fears yeah. gimp man has returned. <laughs> I mean, it's... Feared. That headline <laughs> is just... You can is tell. He back? Is he they back? love it. Yeah. Fears. Gimp yeah. Man has returned. Oh no! Cried the children. Who, Gimp who, Man. <laughs> the, the, a child is seen pushing a wheel with a stick down the road, and another man goes by on a bicycle. Oh no! Have you heard? Gimp the Man pervert. has returned. <laughs> the His shadow pervert. lays upon our shire once again. What is the squeak? Hark! A squeaketh I hear. Mm. This is like <laughs> the Gimp Man cometh. Like people would just look at it and go, "What the fuck yeah. is that?" I mean, you'd think he was on a stag do, let's be you honest. You would think so. You kind of, well, if, they, if that person was walking towards you, you would find a different route. <laughs> anyway, it says a very sinister man dressed head to toe in a gimp suit has returned to very our sinister. sleepy Somerset villages. It's probably why you were flying For up. For God's sakes, the way this uh, is worded yes. is hilarious. Yatton and Clavisham have been plagued by the latex clad <laughs> since 2018, who appears late at night to stalk and terrify the locals. Uh, despite arresting two people in connection with the case, police are still yet to identify or stop the man known as Gimp Man. Now, I feel like, obviously, if you were of equal height as this person, it's probably easier to take him down in that Gimp suit. Don't you Absolutely. think? Absolutely. I mean, also, like, we could go on Gimp impaired. Patrol. 
You could go on Gimp Patrol. We should go like on Gimp you, Patrol. Like, say you lived in the local area yeah. where this has been happening. Three, four of you in a car just go out, you know, about the time. And, <laughs> and if you see a guy in a Gimp suit, pin them down and call the yeah. police. Like, no, Gimp, Gimp Man, although he can hide in the shadows well, that is... You know, oh, that is his power. Like he blends so well into the shadows. Just like it's the, the squeaks just, that give him away. Can't see me. Yeah. <laughs> He's rubbing That's against a squeaky the bush. Pervert! <laughs> Gimp! We can... Get the Gimp! Gimp! <laughs> Get him! Gimp. We're the Gimp like, hunters. There's going to be a documentary on Channel Mission 4. Gimp possible. Um, <laughs> nice. But like, uh, seriously though, like if you were in that local area, because I can see how that would be scary. I do see like oh if you're God, walking this, home. This is scary. Like, like this part. Right, gone. There's Kira Elston, 19, and her boyfriend walking home after getting out of a taxi in Yatton at around 1am on Sunday when Gimp Man emerged from the shadows and started oh, walking towards them with his arms outstretched. That would fucking just freak you hug. out, man. Just wanted a little hug. Uh, she, she had not been worrying about someone popping out of the darkness as she was with her boyfriend, but he suddenly shouted, Kira, there's a man! As they approached a roundabout. <laughs> By the time we saw him, he was very close. My boyfriend just told me to run, she said. Kira said the encounter was the most terrifying experience of my life. I think I've got the image in my head of him walking towards me and staring. I don't think he's staring. That's just the cross eyes. Yeah, it's it's the you cross. can't see his eyes. It's just the fact that he's just a bored individual who's just wandering around in a kitchen. He's yeah. trolling people. Yeah. I think he's and the trolling. Fact that he, he's knows got articles. he knows this is going to get articles because, like, where are Victorious. you? Yeah, middle of Somerset. Of course, yeah. people. We're talking about it. It's funny. As yeah. long as he's, not actually, he's not actually got anyone, right? He's just. No. I mean, if he does. But, like, the way this is worded, is, it literally says, he's back to claim another victim. <laughs> That's literally yeah. the words oh, of this. Oh, no. He'll he's drag going him to back outstretch his arms to someone again. <laughs> he hasn't actually assaulted Wait. anyone, as far as I'm aware. Well, if so we go to Yatton and we. Just Gimp patrol, watch. Roll, we just roll around slowly looking for well, Gimp. We can do it silently in your car. Exactly. Just don't reverse. Electric, yeah. Electric, yeah. Oi! Oh mate, and then we get out. We can take air guns. This is probably how we get the armed police involved. <laughs> uh, He's like, yeah, that's right, you no, bastard. No. We'll take those electric um, bug bats. That'll yeah. be our weapons. That'll be our only. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll each carry one like it's a lightsaber. Skin on show. We're yeah. gonna have to have a costume. He's he's, he's insulated. He's latex. He's insulated from that. That's the Damn, worst. Is latex an Is latex an insulator? Depends on the. It will be though. if it's so real like, latex like, or that stuff has to touch skin. To make the little spark, and that is a, a really quite a little sting, isn't it? When it happens, he's Ooh. literally an insulated yeah. wire. <laughs> or, but okay, in that case, the, we the just BB take gun knives. idea is great. I think the pistols. The thing is, if if we use BB get especially pistols because they look like real guns, okay. we'll get the orange ones. That's Let's... how we get. Okay, first of all, the police on our ass. We get a ball Salt gag guns. just so he doesn't say anything, and then we get a whip. He's already got just one. so that we can keep nice. him in place. And then we get some yeah. lube to make sure he doesn't get anywhere so he can doesn't slip yeah. away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, can't, yeah, yeah we yeah. lube his feet so he we'll, can't yeah. run. Yeah, we'll strap yeah, yeah. him down, lube him up, ball gag him. And then, just... and then we can suspend <laughs> him with chains. Yeah. And it's like, well, you're playing a sex game, officer. I don't know what he's doing up there. <laughs> he lubed himself. This guy. Anyway, I think anyway, that's the you're after. We've got yeah, a really good plan. Track him down. He stood there like he was proud and just you know, like kind of with his arms out. That's pretty freaky. If anyone did that, even if they weren't in a gimp suit, you would kind of be worried. Yeah. Right? The yeah, it wouldn't be, a lot of spice it'd be weird. In that situation. But yeah, that's... What, watch out. Um, we'll keep, we'll keep watch neighborhood out watch. Keep an eye out for the gimp man. In the <sighs> Look out for area. gimps. It's important. Yatton. It's important gimp watch. The mood is tense. Watch. I mean, I really do <coughs> think we need... We need to start leaning into this stuff. Not necessarily the Gimp Man, but we definitely, as in leaning into these situations, we keep coming up with these ideas. Oh yeah, where like you know, just just try and like get like a a, a some sort of um probably fictional, probably sketch like. Let's be honest. I want to catch this just guy. Be hilarious. I mean, it'd be great. I mean, if we could, we could make, we could we make the documentary. Vigilantes, the hunt for Gimp Man, Mission Gimp Possible. Yeah, like, you know. Or we could just be called the Gimp Men. Uh, well. But, Goons, no, Gimp like, Squad. We, we aren't Gimps ourselves. We aren't the Gimps. We're, we're not the Gimps. We, we chase the we Gimps. Chasing but we are the Gimp Men because we're getting the Gimps, you know? Is it uh, one, I think. Well, hold on. Let me just quickly check before we finish. What, where the Gimps are? Just, just Gimp Tracker. Gimp map? 
Just make you've an got, you've got to minutes down. to track this guy down. Yeah. Yeah, uh, thing, like, how is it being like we need to, like a gimp watch hashtag or something so that we can follow it and be like it's been so he last seen sorry he's uh, been tra- it's literally like that hunted tv show just yeah. as shit just yeah. as fake but it's okay yeah we've, and we've all got unnecessary amounts of radios on yeah and like you know like those we've like equal the- points in somerset like a triangle that we can cover <laughs> we're always triangulating yeah <laughs> different modes of transport we could we could have we could have different like roles as well like you know yeah. like mace man Drone squad and like there's just like three drones flying. I'm not even being able to control them all. Like, okay, yeah, yeah, getting a drone over the area. Okay, I've hit a tree. It's in a tree. Um, <laughs> drone one just, down. Drone one down. Drone one is down almost immediately. Uh, drone, I'm getting arrested dark, for flying drone three. I can't. Can see I be remote guy that just always has to... remote controlled devices and you never actually yeah. see my face and I mask my voice? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you do, yeah. He's got Always in the back a of a van. <laughs> Always in the van. Always in the back of a van as well, like really cramped in the back yeah. of a van. Okay, we're in the middle of the summer set. We've only got 3G here, so I haven't got any visual or audio here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> back to walkie talkies. I'm just a guy. I'm just a guy talking. I'm just to you a guy in a van. In the back of a van. <laughs> yeah. We just. We hey guys, what's going on? Dog walkers accidentally. We're like, oh, it was dark. Sorry. No. Oh man, this is this is not going well. Oh, Come God. on, gimps. Come at me, well, gimps. W- well, the ongoing saga will continue. Um, this is just the start of our GIMP investigation. Until yeah, then, GIMP, let us know. Let us know. Yeah, give us some info at our email, hatchat at hat-films.com. Thank you very much. And if there's any patrons out there that want to support our, you know, mm. GIMP investigations, let us know. Uh, patron to goal slash, patron.com slash hatfilms. Thank you very much to everyone that's already supporting us. Uh, and yeah, check us out on YouTube. If you want to see the visuals along with this, see Gimp Man in the flesh. Um, well, in the pictures. <laughs> Go to Yatton. Yeah. In the Go to Yatton latex. if you want to see him in the flesh. And yeah, we'll be back next week. Um, have a great week, everyone. And stay yeah. frosty. Keep yeah. an eye. Keep your eyes peeled. Keep your eyes peeled. Keep an eye out. Shadows. And listen Watch for squeaks. And yeah, Don't we'll get see gimped. You all. Don't get gimped. See right. you all next week. Bye, everybody. Indeed. Bye. Bye.